Are you okay? Good morning. Welcome back. My name is Laura. And here on our channel, we do a lot of cooking, we do preserving, we do food banks. I'm a mom of three, I stay home. My husband works a lot. He gets about four days off a month. Yes, a month. And then some of those times, like this weekend, he's on call. So the last two nights he's gotten called in after coming home. So we're just trying to make it here on this channel. We're trying to survive, we're trying to feed our family and it is loud and there's always something going on but welcome so the last two weeks the food pantry that we found on saturdays hi hi, hi was closed and um they reopened today again i have a helper next to me who is getting into everything she's leaving now so it'll be a little quieter until she comes back um what? so she sorry Sidetrack. Okay, never mind. We have an actual helper. Um, thank you. Don't put that in my face. Okay, let's show you what we got here. It's a little bit interesting. Um, the last few times we went, it was a lot of stuff. And this time, it was just one box, which is totally fine. We're totally grateful. Um, we... We'll show you. We have not been posting this last week because the little ones have colds and they needed me more. And it was just one of those weeks where life took Hi. took over. She's making funny faces. Cheese. Cheese. But let's show you. Da, 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 da. Show me. Okay. So don't mind my canning stuff in the background. We we have been preserving apples from our apple tree all week and any free moments that we got. Um, so, well, she's trying a plum. So let's show you what we got here. A huge bag of kale. Looks like a mixture of different kales. Snow peas. And carrot spirals. This week was really produce heavy, which is amazing. A bag of plums, which somebody's already trying. Hopefully it's okay. The smallest ever bag of broccoli. A bag of apples, which is actually great because even though we have an apple tree, a, we didn't know it was an apple tree when we moved in, so it wasn't treated or anything. And a lot of the apples have a lot of damage and bugs so i've been cutting around it and saving what i can but i send an apple every day with my husband for lunch so that's great and this one next to me eating the plum loves apples this i believe is like freeze-dried beans i'm not i that's what i think it is it's beans of some sort but they're interesting i don't know if you can hear it ASMR channel now. So that was interesting. That's not the weird one though. Um, let's go back down. This is kind of cool. This is their homemade, or homemade, it's a grocery store. Their fresh made um, spaghetti noodles. So maybe for dinner tonight we'll do spaghetti. But look at that price. $9. We'll eat it. Um, I don't want to show you what I think is weird. So let me do this. We got a fruit pie of some sort, apple, cherry, maybe, plum. It's a plum pie, I think. A thing of vanilla yogurt. Carbonat low-carb tortillas, two grams. I don't really worry about that. I've just embraced the fact that I'm chunky. We don't have time for low-carb in this, in this life. We just have time to eat whatever's left over off of kids' plates. Some Gouda cheese for sandwiches, which is amazing because... Sandwiches are great when you're a mom of little ones because you can eat it over the course of two hours and it doesn't get cold. Some cage-free drumsticks. That'll be really good too for this week for dinner. And then we have four cans of salmon and two cans of corn. So this is this is the one that I'm like, hmm, it's probably not, probably nothing wrong with it. I just, it, the packaging is kind of odd. So in these two Winco grocery bags we have some 
fried chicken a bag of fried chicken but I don't, I don't know that's just it's odd to me that it's just in a grocery bag and then a bag of biscuits am I weird for thinking that this is kind of a strange way to eat chicken I don't know I, I feel like I'm I do some kind of questionable eating of things but that one's oh, sorry let me blind you with my backyard that one's a little odd so let me tell me what you would think also haven't taken on the birthday decorations for two weeks because again life um so this video is gonna be pretty short because there wasn't a lot to show you but thank you for coming again we've been super preserving i want to show you show you what we've been making sorry my house is a mess because of everybody being sick in this so i save all my scraps and we did a bunch of chicken broth and then we, like I said, I made apple juice and I had a handful of Moondrop grapes. They were on sale and the, they were kind of looking a little wilty. It was like a half a cup. So I threw it in with my apple juice, but look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? I love this jar. I had found somebody online selling a bunch of old jars for like five bucks for 12. And, um... I grabbed them and some of them are so interesting but this apple juice is so pretty I've been using a um, I've been using a steam canner that I brought for my niece and the first time I juiced them and that took a lot of effort because you still have to cut them up and then it was like a different color a different texture it was it was so different from this hat hat um, but this taste, I didn't put any sugar or anything like that. I'm just steam juicing them and putting them in jars and water bathing them. But it's really good. And I've been loving it for those sick ones because there was a couple days she didn't want to eat. And at least I know she's getting vitamins from the apples. And it's just apples. So really excited that my niece had an extra one that she could let me borrow. <sighs> We're tired here. We are tired. Um, send send prayers and maybe a coffee ivy um don't play with that so anyways that's what we got this week that's what we've been doing this hopefully this next week we'll get back to normal to our normal routine of making dinners and doing all the things and having a little bit more time to can and film um i have to go pick apples off the tree but it's really steep out there so it scares me and i feel totally wobbly so my husband today, when he comes home, I'm going to have him hopefully go. She's pulling something off of something. Um, hopefully he can go and grab some more for me because I'm all out of the ones that I went and picked. And we can get as much of this food preserved that we can. So thank you for coming to this very loud and distracting video. But again, this is life. I appreciate all of you. And I have been so bad at comments this week. And I'm really sorry. It'll get better. But again, look at look at this. This is my... I guess it's not that messy. It feels messy. I feel messy. She's playing with something. Anyways. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.